Geminis, welcome to your reading. Let's see what's coming through to you for, ooh, okay, we're ready to go. So the month of April, we could be dealing with a separation here. <laughs> it could be a judgment call for some of you. Uh, it could be a divorce or it could just be some time that you've been maybe needing to see a different perspective. You're awakening to something though. There's a major shift here with the judgment card. Again, awakening. You're answering the call to something. So there could be something that's really allowing you to have this like divine timing at play here. Um, he's also got a lot of blue and green. So there's a lot of communication and a lot of heart space healing. So your throat chakra, your heart chakra are kind of in this beautiful alignment, which I feel like is sort of you answering this call to elevate, to rise above. So there's going to be big shifts, which is already amazing. So there's a lot of fun energy happening with that Scorpio energy as well as Pisces energy. So big clarity. I feel like you're changing your perspective on a lot of things. There's a lot of illumination, a lot of clarity that's happening with the page of swords as well here too. Could be researching, could be checking out some things. And I feel like this is also maybe that, um, you know, someone is definitely keeping an eye on your social media. Someone is definitely like checking up, seeing what you're doing. Um, this could be you again too here. But for this, it's also making me think of either if you're learning some stuff, you're trying to figure it out. I feel like you're holding back on expressing something because he's even holding the sword. And you know how it is when you hold something in, it hurts you. So it's sort of like needing to express some things, needing to allow those clarities to come through. And I feel like what's happening is like, it's like holding back until the right moment and then charging forward. Okay. So you may be aware that there's a conversation coming towards you. Maybe you don't want to have this conversation or you're waiting for the right time to express this. But again, there's that knight in shining armor coming in uh, a lot of clarity. And this is going to bring this new idea. Maybe you've been holding back on some ideas as well, because the birds are also all these signs here. So I feel like you've been seeing and understanding that there's a lot of things you've been moving in silence for a little while. I feel like, again, waiting for this call, waiting for this judgment to happen. Could be a second chance in something as well here too. And it's moving forward, which is really wonderful because that's leading. Wow. Okay. Well, what's that leading to? Well, it's leading to the King of Cups, a lot of love, a lot of expression. So there could be someone, of course, with a lot of strong feelings here too. Uh, this blue energy is also about expressing this. For some of you, it's also either multiple people or kids could be involved as well because we have the page, knight, and then a king. So it's like all the stages and phases towards this clarity but he's wearing blue which is the throat chakra but then he's wearing uh you know water energy here with the king of cups but all these beautiful koi fish in the water too so there's a lot of abundance a lot of opportunities and the king is just standing very proud and in that emotional space you've also either you or your person has gained a lot of emotional security within themselves or of course understanding their emotions so maybe someone is expressing that uh leading to these beautiful energies but the four of wands my 1111 card could be twin flame soulmate energy could be moving into a new home as well, gaining some stability and clarity. But there's this harmony, you know, could be celebrating with other people here too. But now, see, we had the, uh, the, blue, which is again, the throat chakra leading to the red and the green, which is the heart chakra and the root chakra. So like I said, there's a lot of clarity, a lot of stability. And with the doves too, there's a lot of harmony and peace happening, which is leading to a lot of resolutions. Again, like I said, with that judgment, that decision for some of you, if you were purchasing something, it's ruling in your favor. For others of you, there's a lot of clarity that is coming through in the best ways. And I think that that's going to really help you to see what's coming on this other side side with the six of cups. So there could be, of course, children involved, or like I said, this is a nostalgic kind of energy. Some of you could be, of course, changing your ways, changing some situations, um, leading to this abundance. And look, every cup has a lotus in it. So there is just a lot of stuff um, that is going to help you with this loving energy. We've got a kite up here too, so those could be significant. Uh, but I think that there's just this playful, fun, beautiful, loving energy that is coming through because it's very nostalgic, very innocent, very like playful. And I think that that's sort of something that is coming through in, in a communication, an expression, or maybe even an idea. You are tapping into more of your creative energies, but there is definitely someone who wants to bring something serious to the table. Uh, for some of you too, it could be a family, it could be a new home, leading to that cup of love like someone is seeing some you're definitely seeing the signs and synchronicities because there's so many birds so i feel like you so you could be seeing threes twos there's all kinds of stuff <laughs> eights there's a lot of different numbers that are coming through for you and i feel like you're standing your ground in something you're standing your ground in something until you know it's time and you're going to know it's time. 
whatever this is, because you've been delaying and held back long enough, but you are definitely standing your ground. Could be blocking people, could be blocking communications. This could be someone you did remove from your life that is still kind of moseying around, being nosy. Who's being nosy? Gemini's, ah, what's the dish? Dish it, let's see. So guys, make sure you share in the comments how these are resonating for you. And as always, guys, we'll see you really soon. Take care, bye.